It was the botched prison break that got national attention. Now three inmates head to court accused of murder. They had nothing to say as they were led into the courtroom this afternoon. The three men are accused of taking part in a deadly attack at the Pasquotank Correctional Institution last year. Four prison employees died in that attack. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee traveled to Pasquotank this morning. And Jacqueline, we're learning more about how this case is shaping up. That's right, Janet. According to the district attorney, the key is to try each case separately because trying multiple capital murder cases at once isn't easy. It's been almost a year since that deadly attempted prison escape at the Pasquotank Correctional Institution. At the center of it all, Seth Frazier, Mikhail Brady, Jonathan Monk, and Wysaia Buckman are accused of murdering four prison employees. Today, three of them appeared in court. District Attorney Andrew Womble is leading the prosecution. We have various problems with trying four capital murder cases all at one time. Problems include picking a jury that can handle four capital murder cases and evidence that can be applied to some defendants, but not others. After reviewing the evidence that, that we have, I've, I've seen some of the most brutal acts that I've seen in my 23 year career as being a, uh, a criminal attorney and a prosecutor. So today, the state took its first steps towards prosecuting the accused killers separately. Attorneys scheduled Mikhail Brady to go before a judge in August. Hearings for the other inmates are scheduled for November. We believe we're going to try the strongest case first. Also in court, friends and family of the victims. Families are taking it tough. They didn't want to talk on camera today, but Womble said they do have one wish. They would like to see the court move a little quicker um, and we're trying to do that for them. Friends and family who want justice for the four workers killed and some closure to an absolute nightmare. The four inmates are facing four counts of first-degree murder. The state is seeking the death penalty. Live in studio, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.